back to another cooking video. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you all a very simple recipe that I created that uses ravioli. So I'm sure many of you have seen ravioli in your grocery store. This particular ravioli that I'm going to be using is fennel sausage. And I'm going to cook this according to the instructions on the package. I'm also going to be adding some spinach as well. You cannot go wrong with adding spinach to make it more healthy. So once I have finished cooking the pasta, I am going to be adding my favorite Alfredo sauce. It's the roasted garlic. And I am going to be using two jars of this. And y'all know how we stretch our pasta sauce. I just added a little bit of water just to make sure I got all of that pasta out of there. So right now, I am just giving it a, a good stir. And I'm gonna be adding some Italian seasoning. Again, you guys, I do not measure. I just kinda of go off of what I think is enough. Um, so I'm going to be using some garlic powder. And a little bit of seasoned salt as well. And we got to have the black pepper, you guys. I love black pepper pepper. I put black pepper on everything. So now that all the seasoning is added, I'm going to give this another stir. So I'm adding my spinach that has been freshly washed and I'm going to be adding that in the pasta and giving it a nice stir as well. So now that everything has been nicely incorporated, I got me a baking dish that I sprayed. And now I'm going to just pour all of that goodness into this baking pan. And I'm topping it with some more black pepper. And I'm going to be using this Monterey Jack cheese. You guys, you can use any type of white cheese you prefer. I had a little bit left, so I just wanted to go ahead and finish this up. But I would definitely use this as well as the Parmesan. If I had Parmesan cheese, um, the shredded, I would have used that, but I had some mozzarella, so I'm using the mozzarella. And I'm gonna sprinkle some of that Parmesan grated cheese on top. This is what it looks like after all the cheese has been added. And I put my oven on 350 degrees and this is what it looks like. I cooked it for about 15 minutes. And you guys, when I tell you this was banging, oh my gosh, this was so delicious. Get into it, y'all. Yes. And I paired it with some garlic toast. And this is what it looks like. Plate it up. If you guys try this, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Welcome to the Kingdom Fam, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.